What do I mean by that? By IQ, I mean functional skills,、uh, basic business skills that good managers need, such as marketing, accounting, and finance, strategy, and other subject matters you learn at business schools or skills that you acquire on the job. You ought to have functional skills, first of all, right? But that is not enough for you to become global leaders. You have to、uh, have your own leadership style. I call that EQ or authentic leadership. And here, you must be true to your own style. You don't copy others.、Uh, we talk about、uh, Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, or Jack Welch, but you don't copy them. If you copy somebody else, you won't be genuine or authentic. And my thinking is that、uh, through challenges in life, in Korea, you learn、uh, a lot about your own leadership style. All right? And then, lastly, CQ, cultural intelligence. Now, CQ picks up where IQ and EQ leave off it's the capability. To function effectively across various cultural contexts, such as national, ethnic, organizational, or generational、uh, contexts. Okay? Now, this CQ, we'll talk a lot about this. We have uh, uh, we'll spend a lot of time on this. But interestingly, this CQ research was done in Europe, the US, and Asia. Currently, a lot of research is done at Michigan State University and also、uh, Nanyang Technological University of Singapore. So, it, this CQ has European, or Western, and Asian perspective. I think it's very powerful. Okay, how should we learn these competencies? What is really the learning method? That's what I like to talk about. Now,、uh, scholars said, Develop your expertise, go early, just do it, take a risk, be open to learning, focus on business results, don't confine yourself to business, maintain your networks, take care of your family. All right? So it seems it's a pretty good uh, uh, list. Here is another one, another good list by Professor Bill George of Harvard Business School. He said, live in emerging countries, BRICS, Brazil, Russia, India, China. And other emerging markets. And you ought to hold line responsibility in overseas business,、uh, learn local languages and customs, and understand your culture and cultural biases. And you have to be non judgmental and you have to show a, an understanding of cultural differences,、uh, leading cross cultural task teams, training cross cultural communications. And these are things that Professor Bill George recommends.